Hello everyone and welcome to our next Power Automate tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to extract and decompress files from a zip archive automatically using the Cloudmersive file processing connector in Power Automate. We'll do an instant cloud flow in this video to have better control over our data, but it's easy to automate this flow later on and target a specific folder where your zip files are saved. Let's begin. From the Power Automate homepage, click Create and select Instant Cloud Flow on the following page. After that, give your file a name, select Manually Trigger a Flow, and then press Create at the bottom to move on to the Flow Design page. Once you're there, click New Step and type Get File Content into the search bar. If you're getting your file through SharePoint, select the relevant option below and define your site address to satisfy the action's first parameter. Below that, navigate the folder path using the folder icon to find your file and select it. When you're ready, we can now introduce our Cloudmersive connector action. Click New Step and type Cloudmersive into the operation search bar. From the list of Cloudmersive connectors below, select the file processing connector with the purple colored logo. In the following actions list, either scroll down or type Extract Decompress to find the appropriate action. A quick note here, around this stage, you'll be asked to input your Cloudmersive API key if it's your first time using this connector. To get one, just visit our website, cloudmersive.com, and register a free account. Once you enter that key in here, it'll save for the next use just like mine has. The parameters of this action are very simple. First, click on the input file bar and select the file content option from the dynamic content window. This will pull the contents of the zip file into the operation. After that, copy the zip archive's file name and path from the previous step and paste that into the input file name search bar below. With our connector now properly configured, we can wrap up the flow with a create file action. Click new step, and type create file into the search bar. If you're using SharePoint again, select that action and define your site address right after. After that, you'll need to pick the folder that your decompressed file will save in. To do so, use the folder icon and navigate SharePoint until you find your folder. The final two parameters here will let you name your new files and define their contents. Obviously, we want the decompressed files to save exactly the way they were before they were compressed. To do that, click on the file name bar and select the file name output content option from the dynamic content window. This will engage an apply to each operation in Power Automate because it knows there are multiple files coming out of this archive. My files are all Word files, so I'm adding the suffix docx to the end of that dynamic content. Your last step is to then click on the file content parameter and select file contents from the dynamic content window. This will ensure each file is decompressed, named correctly, and saved with its respective contents. Now we can save and test the flow. Click Save at the bottom, then click Test in the upper right corner of the page. Select the option to trigger manually, then click Test at the bottom again, followed by Continue and Run Flow. The flow runtime will depend on the size of your zip archive and the files within it. Mine is pretty small, so it only took a few seconds before outputting my results. As you can see here, I now have three decompressed sample files in the folder I specified. And with that, you're all done. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more Power Automate tutorials in the near future.